Okay, so uh, this is, uh, I'm going to transfer some footage off a compact flash card that uh, was used in a nano flash, but the same procedure should be the same for um, P2 footage. Firstly, I'm going to connect the uh, destination drive, and now I'm going to connect the uh, compact flash and a reader. And so that this no name up here is the compact flash card. And over here, move this over here, that's our destination drive. And I'm going to open up Shotput Pro. And we'll just check our settings. So I'm going to erase that. And so you, you choose, I got manual. I'm going to make a destination to copy. You can pick multiple ones. I'm going to make a new folder here. Uh, my test and create. So that's where I'm going to send the footage that I'm copying. Uh, again, you can add multiple destinations. I'm not sure how many you could actually have, but usually you'll, you'll be doing it to two. In this case, I'm just doing one. Consecutive numbering. Uh, you have a bunch of different choices here. I'm going to do consecutive numbering, reset to one, and make this uh, uh, transfer test. Transfer test and no suffix. And so that's all good. And then the other thing uh, I would do is preferences. And uh, you got uh, file verification preferences. File size comparison is going to be a lot faster, but it only just looks at the size of the destination file as well as the original. Uh, it doesn't look to see if any kind of bytes got flipped. Byte verification is much more robust, and unless there's some reason not to, you should always do byte verification. Automatically save logs after each offload. Warn before unsaved logs are eliminated. Uh, you could do verbose logging if you wish, uh, or minimal logging usually is fine. Save log to a common folder or save with the offload. Uh, I'm torn as to which is a better thing. Right now I have with offload. If you do it to a common folder, the advantage of that is if the file, if the drive were to completely fail and somebody accused you of not properly copying it to it, you would also lose the log that indicated it was properly copied. Don't know how important that is. Uh, you will have a chance to save it um, manually as well. So I'll leave it right now with save log with offload and you can choose these preferences. Uh, I'm not going to rename the card. I'm not going to format it. Uh, I will choose, just for the hell of it, automatically eject card and play sound. Again, not necessary. Uh, so we'll close that. Now, so then here is attached media, and you might have to hit refresh drive list to see your thing come up. So no name is what I'm actually trying to copy. So I just drag that to the off load queue and then I either hit begin here or begin here so I'm going to hit begin and here we see the uh, copy destination where it's going estimated time remaining to copy it all uh, and the process let's see so and this is a progress bar showing as things move along saying it's going to take 21 seconds 19 seconds there's only three move files. This isn't a big test. I just wanted to have something for us to look at uh, while it works through this, the processes. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pause it here, let it get a little further ahead. Okay, we're back. I'm just uh, we're getting close to the end here just wanted to show the final stage as it uh, indicates it's done. Got about 10 more seconds. Okay, offload complete and verified. Plays a sound. Uh, you can save the log. Here you can save it to the desktop if you wish. And save. And view log if you wish. You can see it, save it, whatever. Uh, we're going to close the window. And it's all done. So that's it. All right. That should be uh, all you need to know.